Good morning everyone. Greetings from Melbourne, Australia. I have a fairly busy day today but I wanted to get this done so I could get it uploaded and just forget about it. Now the last video I put out was a short and it was titled Innuendos and one of the reasons why it is titled that is it just so happens to be a talking point at the moment, strangely enough, within mm, several channels of the very broad, very broad 1A community. Now I was minding my own business with coffee and chocolate cake for breakfast this morning when I started receiving emails and discord messages from friends. And wouldn't you know it, the word innuendos was key to this whole kerfuffle. Absolutely ridiculous. What is happening? Well, here we go. Now I like to take my glasses off, although I do need them for close up. I don't need them for long distance, but close up. I just like to make sure that I can see what's going on on my live chat, uh, on my, sorry, on my video. Make sure that's nothing going on that might dox me. Okay, what is happening? Well, first of all, we have somebody by the name of Crofty who hangs out with Toe for Life and... Uh, The Exiled One, there's another one, I can never remember the four of them, but it will come to me, oh, Ajot, that's it, okay. So Crafty has um, decided that she is the regulator for the 1A community by saying who is and who isn't a 1A supporter. This is something that's come through on a number of their panels recently. Yep, wouldn't you know it, there's someone here on YouTube within the, U the 1A community who is a self-regulating 1A auditing guru. Yep she herself is going to regulate who is and who isn't considered a 1A supporter. How? Well, she's decided she's going to make the rules. And if you don't follow her rules, well, she'll come after you. Now, this channel, which I go to often, not as much as they are when they're live though, not every time, but I go there often enough to know that they're pretty good folk. I call them the mountain folk. So here's the mountain folk up here on the mountain in New Hampshire. And here she is over here on her high horse, deciding what they should and should not be doing. What they should and should not say. Who they should and should not say things about. I have no idea where she got the idea that she was going to regulate the entire 1A community one by one, but there you have it. And apparently she put out a video, I don't know when it was, I went over, I watched it for a bit and flicked it off because she just doesn't interest me. Someone who decides what other people can and cannot say, should and should not say, go figure. Waste of my time. Really. So I wanted to just say that this bitch, Crofty, has also been coming at me as well. And you know me, I don't take a step back. And Toe for Life there, this is how I roll. <laughs> 
as I said, if that's all you can pull, dude, you've got to line up right next to Crofty and run the fucking whole 1A auditing community because you're also up there on your high fucking horse. And, and you, dookie dookie dookie, sitting in the back there in the dark like a uh, bullfrog under the overgrowth. You're a has-been, man. Nothing more. You can change your name to whatever you like, but you'll always be dookie dookie dookie. And when people email me or send a Discord message to me or they refer to you, that's what they call you. They don't call you your channel name or any of your previous channel names. They call you Dookie, and it's always an uppercase Dookie. And, uh, wow, you're sitting on the panel with these two. Are you also deciding to be a 1A community regulator? Hmm. How about this? What was his name? Texas Sheepdog something or other. Wow. Now there's a dude who said that he was 1A. Hmm. What about him? Is he one of your friends? How about the uh, other two pedophiles who recently were arrested? Are they your friends as well? Or did, did you dob them in? Are you that good? Are you guys that good at what you do? Is that what you do in the background? You hunt down people who don't belong in the 1A according to your rules and then you dob them in. No, that wasn't you? Ah, my mistake. I thought that might be what you were doing. But then I didn't see any videos of you doing it. Hmm. I wonder how many other paedophiles and uh, criminals are in the 1A community that you could possibly be going after instead of messing with the mountain folk. Sounds to me like you have a bee in your bonnet and it sounds to me like it comes from dookie dookie dookie. What's he paying you, I wonder? Hmm. Hmm? <laughs> and as for the exiled one, he's got a bit of money too. <laughs> yep. It doesn't take much to buy people these days. Oh, and Crofty, the watchers, the watchers, uppercase the watchers, that I created. They aren't people with cell phones who, and laptops who just uh, bang into a channel and snipe it. Mm -mm -mm. The Watchers are an amazing group of coders and gosh, the qualifications that these people have in computer science is unbelievable. Their starting setups are around 30,000. My back room, known to some of my um, personal subscribers, is known as the CIA dark room. So you don't have watches like we have watches. You just have snoops. Snoopy snoops. Oh, look. Snoopy, 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 just like dookie, dookie, dookie. Gotta love it. Gotta love it. Oh, by the way, shout out to a couple of my regulars. My sister, I know you love camo. I had it on yesterday, I forgot to mention it. And to my dear friend in Canada, I believe it's Toronto, Reza. I do love the pink. It is gorgeous and it goes with my jacket. So that's what I'm going to be wearing today.
And if you're wondering why my hair looks like this, I just used the new shampoo that I bought the other day. And I wanted it to air dry uh, before I left the house, obviously, because it's cold and... Yeah, it's very cold out there at the moment. I don't want to go out with wet hair. So I thought, I'll wait until it dries and see how that shampoo works. I might pick it up again. It seems to be okay. It doesn't have that, um, you know, that oily, greasy feeling. Yeah, it's quite good. So we'll see how it goes over the next week. Make sure that it doesn't make my scalp itchy. And uh, I'll get back to you on it. Okay. There you go. Regulators and innuendos. Done and dusted for the day.